Hmm. Well, at least they're starting to leave. Guess we'll save the cleanup for after the break. We ought to get that external fruit collector set up. Perfectly cooled in the snow, and kept fresh, too. Uh-huh. Get this. It's like we're inside, and the fridge is outside. Mind blown? Sure. Good job. I knew it. I wonder if the others are leaving early, now that the road's cleared. Eh, might as well. Can't believe the calls pushed our Christmas party this late. Are you heading home early, too? Yeah, why not? I'm spending the eve with my sister's family. They don't live far from here. With their little brat, huh? Yeah, well, their little brat still got me a better gift than yours. Hey, at least I tried to get something for my partner. Unlike a certain... somebody. Guess again. What is that? It's an ambient sound maker. It cycles through the soothing background sounds, like the beaches or a chorus of crickets. Check this out. It sounds like something I could do on my phone. Oh yeah? Well, this also allows for recording a custom track of your own to loop back. Just press record, and you can make your own custom ambient sounds to work to. Again, phone. <sighs> I guess neither of us are particularly good gifters. Hey, I'll still take it. I'll probably record Rob getting scolded to the custom track and fall asleep to it or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, how about you? You got plans? Well... <laughs> Come here, you stud. <laughs> Is it the wine, or have you been getting handsomer by the day? My dear, I'm sober as a brick, and you're still steamy like a hot bun. When I looked into your eyes just then, it's as if I'm hearing the gentle waves of the ocean. <laughs> you naughty little vixen. If not for my back, I'd just pick you up and... Hey. Hey. It's snowing outside. Yeah, sure is. Okay, I think that's enough for today. Yep. I'm heading out. You do that. Oh, hey, thanks for the sound machine and whatnot. Sheesh, don't be too grateful now. Tomorrow's gonna be one heck of a cleanup day, but at least I'll restock on ketchup. It's what makes our job possible.
I'm so relieved we're finally getting a break. It'll be nice to spend some time with the family. Have a good evening, Lisa. You deserve it. Everyone does. Especially Willis and Taima. To be honest, I'm worried about them. Yeah, they do work way too hard for their age. Honestly, I don't think I'd be able to do theirs when the time comes. Hmm. What's Neil up to? I thought he was with you. Oh, he's... I don't know what he's up to. As per usual, I see. Man, I know Herman Corp's got our night covered by contract and all, but I still feel kind of uneasy. They're our competitors, after all. Yeah, but I guess that's one of the few ways to get some reliable time off in this job. Besides, we'll be doing the same thing for them, so they'd be better to do a good job. I'm heading home as soon as I get these cleaned up. Can't stand the look of a messy table. You're still staying? Oh no. I'm just about to head home as well. Ah, well, drive safe. Ever about earlier. Hey, don't worry about it. No, lass, you don't understand. You see, sometimes when a man loves a woman... Oh, shush, you! Uh... My stuff's still back at the office. Hey, Eva! Hey, Eddie. How's... Oh, no, 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 door! Oops. My bad. Oh, well. No biggie. Hey, can you press the elevator button for me? Why? I thought you just pressed it. Yeah, but it seems like it comes up instantly almost every time you press it. That's silly. It's just luck. Well, come on. Just give it a try. Uh... What the...? Thanks! Um... Bottles of homemade ketchup. <sighs> I thought he was kidding. Dear Diary, today I... Shoot, not again. The door was open too. Better lock it away for good.
You alright, Roxy? Oh! Hi, Aiva! Yep, just waiting on Rob. His ride's under maintenance, so we're carpooling. Hey, Rob! You ready? Just a minute. Anyway, what's up to? Um, not much. Just heading home to have dinner with my sister's family. We always have our Christmas dinner together, and they've been waiting. Wow, how nice of them. The turkey surely wouldn't have stuck around had it been me. I bet. You got plans tonight? Well, I gotta meet up with some folks later. But first, I got a date with the good old couch and ice cream. I'm gonna grab a whole bucket and scoop it, and then I'm gonna spoon it. Sounds like a lovely time. Yep, yep. You ready now? Just a minute. Jeez, Roxy, I said just a minute. <laughs> Was it me? Heading off? You're still here? Yep, and I'm staying here tonight. Wait, what? Everyone's heading home. What can I say? It's just the kind of hard-working Samaritan that I am. Coming through! Neil. Bob. It's Robert. Rob. Anyway, have a good evening at your sister's place. You're really gonna just stay here on the only break we've gotten in months? Yup. All this mansion to myself? Yes, please. <sighs> All right, then. Hey, if you want. Huh? Uh, never mind. Eva? Hey, sis. I'm heading over now. Yep, here he is. He's staying there all by himself? But isn't this like Christmas for you guys? 
Yeah, well, I don't know what he's up to. Hun, you should invite him to dinner. What? Don't be absurd. You're thinking too much into it, silly. I don't mean for anything else, just for a co-worker's sake, you know. I know the guy. He's not one to come over. Anyways, get the dishes started, will you? I'll be there in just a bit. Okay, hon. I'll see you then. Eva! What was that? You okay, hun? Are you there, Eva? Eva, c can you hear me? Yeah, I'll be there in just a bit. Okay, hun, I'll see you then. Come on, 30th time's the charm. And the moment of truth. Circuit abnormality detected. Main power disconnected. What the fuck? God damn it! How does that even... I better get down to the basement and reset the switch before someone sees. At least the elevator's on auxiliary power. I could reach the basement from the lobby. Uh... For a tech facility, the power supply sure is unreliable. Access profile load, Dr. Neil Watts. Access time, 1900 hours, 47 minutes. All right, let's get you booted up first. Power status, charging for reignition. Now let's see what happened to you. It's almost as if someone did a manual shutoff. Fetching operation record. Uh, I don't understand. This can't be right. 
There must be a glitch in the system. Huh? Who's there? Who? But the door was locked. Oh! There you are. Power restored. How's the towel, hun? That helps. Thanks. What's wrong with you? Ain't nobody gonna whack my sister like that. Sheesh, it was an accident, right? Your face was an accident. Do you just go around the office swinging a broom around all day? Look. I was in beast mode, and she suddenly appeared on my turf. It's not my fault I was born with such crazily fast reflexes. Why'd you guys come over anyway? You're the one to ask, staying all alone in the office on your holiday off? Who does that? It was her idea. Darn right it is. I ain't having no partner of my sister sulk by himself on a night like this. I wasn't sulk. You just shut up and listen. Eva called in some old friends, and we're going to have a nice dinner together. And you're going to enjoy every moment of it. Wow, you kind of remind me of someone I know. There, there, hun. It's actually not that bad. What was that? Why is he still here? Shoo, shoo! We're gonna get the dinner out and ready soon. You just go stay put and warm up your jaws. Uh... Hey, sorry about the face. Don't talk to me. It was the soft end of a broom. Sheesh. Come to think of it, I should have been charging you for a facial massage. Go away. Hey. Don't talk to me. Can I open the box, Dad? Can I? Go ask Aunt Eva. It's not ours. Man, Neil. We've only just got here and you've already got Tracy all worked up. Workplace hazard. I can't help it. Yeah. It's a dangerous place. Don't even want to imagine what you do with the mop. Our insurance policy forbids me from handling one. Have you guys not had a break since the end of the year? It wasn't 100% work time, but we're always on call. Can't really help when people go poof. Man, I can't imagine doing that kind of work. Don't you guys get stressed out by the very nature of it? You tend to get used to it. Some more so than others. Dude, what's in the box? Er, uh, we don't actually know. What? Yeah, 
come to think of it, those exact same boxes were here last year, too. Well, can we open them? No, I don't know whose they are. So they just sit here? Yep, that's what they do. I don't get it. Me neither. So are they like decorations? I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, hiya! I thought you went home. Yeah, I thought so too. But, as I was happily picking out on the couch, Eva called and asked for a pickup. Huh? What? But she's already here. Hello. What the? Hi, Uncle Neil! Last time you guys came by, you called me a poo-poo face. That was Tommy. He's mean. Wow, that kid's grown up to be a lizard. Uh, sorry, Lily. It's been a while, Neil. Yep, Eva just dragged you guys right out of your loving home, huh? Oh, it's nice to come and visit. The kids were getting bored at home anyway. Wow, wow, wow! Let's go talk inside! We could be missing dinner by now! Oh yes, I should go say hi. What is that? A beaver? It's a plaid plaid. It's not mine, but Ma said I'm its caretaker now. I protect it from all evil. Can I see it? Are you evil? Not really. Hmm. Okay, you can have plaid plaid for five minutes. How can you tell? Cause it's not trying to get away! Duh! Thanks for having us over, Eva. Hey, I just hope I wasn't interrupting anything. Not at all. It's nice to take those two rascals out. Johnny's house has a beautiful view, but it's a bit remote for the kids to camp out at. They do get to play outside nicely, but I keep fearing they'd trip and roll down the cliff. Yeah, that'd be suboptimal. Hey, are you a real doctor? What do you mean? Like, do you do surgeries and stuff? No. Then you're not a real doctor. Uh, do you listen to Dr. Dre? No. Me neither. But Neil says Dre's not a real doctor. And he still's got mad respect, so back off. When I grow up, I want to be like Dr. Dre. Uh, you didn't get that from me. You two should come and visit more. The kids would like that too. Hey, 
Thanks for helping to drive Lily and the kids over. No biggie! As long as you'll hold up your side of the deal. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I got it. I'm serious. Two buckets of ice cream, no cheap outs. Yeah, Roxy. I will. Like, we're talking jumbo size here. With a capital J. And when I say buckets, I mean buckets! As in, I want to use them as recycling bins when I'm done with them. Yeah, I'll... Where do you shop? Two jumbo recycling bin size ice cream buckets. No cheap outs! Uh... Hey, Jamie, what are you doing with that stuffed animal? Don't wuss out on me, son. Chillax, Dad. It's just plat plat. Huh? You guys got any policies about bringing in guests, Eva? Technically, yeah. But as long as it's just hanging out at the lobby or lounge, no one cares. Funny. I work corporate and we've got cameras everywhere. This seemed way more high profile. Well, yeah, but it's not like we keep people's memories sitting around on disc. Feeling all better? I'll live. You know, Eva Hun, you gotta come over more. I rarely see you anymore. Well, winter tends to be our busiest season. Hopefully, we'll get more of a break soon. Don't work too hard now. You know, I'm always here if you need me. Hey, how's Jamie been doing in school? That rascal's doing fine. Says he wants to do what you do when he grows up, actually. But I ain't having none of that. One mortician's enough in this family. Actually, I'd say what we do is more about life than death. Hey, has anyone seen Neil? We ran into him in the hall, but he didn't follow us back in. Seems like he went back down for some reason. Uh... Why aren't you talking to them? Was it something they did? No, it's not them. Then why... Why did you come back? I told you already, it was my sister's idea. You could have stopped her. What? Look... Thanks for coming back and bringing the folks and all. But just don't do something like that again. Do what? Where are you going? Home. I've got things to work on. <sighs> what the hell is wrong with you? I don't know what's going on there. For pineapple's sake, loosen up. Those people came all the way out here to spend the evening with you. When was the last time you even had a dinner with other people? Ah. 
My sister brought her family to keep you company. Even Lily and the kids came. You still remember them, right? You even made that stupid game based on that case. What are you gonna do when you go home? Go eat a frozen pizza by yourself? Just give yourself a break for tonight. Sheesh. Anyway, I'm not gonna just stand out here in the cold tossing words at you. You do what you want. I'm heading inside. Just know, there's a chair upstairs for you, whether you're coming or not. Well? Well what? That wasn't so bad, was it? Everybody had a good time? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, can you guys give me a lift? Neil Hey, can you guys give me a lift? Neil says he needs the company car tonight. Sure, hon. Let's get you home. <laughs> 